Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. I remember a few years ago, in fact, it was like uh, 10, it's 10 years ago, and our church was going through just um, something of a storm. And as leaders, we really didn't know how we were going to navigate that thing. There are different options. Uh, everyone was upset. It, we just really needed the Lord to speak to us. And when I'm in those moments, I always call my grandfather. My grandfather uh, is a retired pastor. Uh, granddaddy will be turning. No, he just turned 92 uh, years of age. Love him. I love him a lot. And it's just one of those where I needed to hear from the wise old man. And I'll never forget. I just explained the whole situation. I took 10 minutes going through all the complexities of this thing. And he took a, a long pregnant pause. And all he said was this. And I quote, yeah, well, the pond's all muddy right now. Give it some time. It'll clear up after a while. Okay, praying for you. And got off the phone. <laughs> just like all the man that was pines all muddy right now. It, you know, I was almost frustrated because it's like, man, I brought you a complex problem. I don't think the solution is that simple, but that's my grandfather and I love him. And I decided to stop spend, expending so much energy talking about the issue and wrestling as to what we're going to do. And I started just saying, you know what? Let me move back from it because cooler heads prevail. Let me start praying and thinking about that. And sure enough, four or five days later, my way was clear because I had given us some time. Proverbs uh, chapter 16, verse 31 says, gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained in a righteous life. The Bible here is speaking to the wisdom that faithful older men and older women have. And I wanna ask you this question, uh, do you have some gray hair around you? Do, do you have some gray hair around you? Me and my buddy Albert have a saying that when we're going through a crux and we just don't know how to find our way out, we say, well, Reverend, you know what you're supposed to do on this one? Call the old man and do whatever he tells you to do. One of the things that's blessed me in my life in marriage and parenting and pastoring has been the privileges that a lot of older leaders have given me to take my phone call and I just faithfully listen to them because at the end of the day, if you've got someone who's been there and done that, they can help you show up to be there and do what God has called you to do. Get some wisdom around you. Maybe that's what you need. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.